Hey guys, what's up? It's Aeson from East Coast RCs, and today I'm going to be doing a review and and drive of the Traxxas Plus. This is one of Traxxas' newer vehicles. came out um, a few months ago, and it's a four-wheel drive brushless vehicle with the, these uh, big old sledgehammer tires. So let's uh, so let's get started with the review. Okay, so let's just take a look around the Traxxas Haas right here. Check this thing out. This thing looks epic. Looks really awesome. I know the tail light back here got a little scratched off. I was from driving it. Um, I want to make a note about the wheelie bar. This has got to be one of the best um, Traxxas wheelie bars for the four-wheel drive models. I even took um, let me grab my Rustler over here. I took, I bought a uh, Haas wheelie bar and threw it on the Rustler because it's way better than the stock Rustler wheelie bar. The stock Rustler wheelie bar just kind of flops around a lot and falls off and breaks a lot because it's kind of just a flimsy, um, skinny piece of plastic. But this one is definitely a lot more durable and a lot better. Also, this Haas does have the light kit, which I'll show you um, in a few minutes. It's got the light kit in the rear, the two tail lights, and in the front, little bumper lights they're leds um there's no brake lights or turn signals or, <clears throat> or anything like that they're just um on all the time when you're driving you can just uh, adjust the brightness of them if you want but yeah uh, the, that's a yeah the, the, they're, they're, it's a very good light kit it's got these sledgehammer wheels right there like i mentioned in the beginning so here let's pop off the body this body by the way is way easier to get off um than the uh then the uh, rustler body. Let's just pop it off. Maybe I spoke a little too soon on that one. <laughs> there it goes. All right. There we go. All right. Yeah. So you, yeah. So it goes on right there. It's got this little clip thing up front that just clips right into that hole right there, which works pretty well. But yeah, here you go. You got the inside of the um, Haas. So you got your motor right there, VXL, brushless, Valenian motor. You got your ESC right here, so the Valenian VXL 3S ESC. So you can um, so you can uh, can power up to you power 2S and 3S lipos. Your stock Traxxas serve uh, Traxxas plastic gear server right there. This is the um, power supply for the uh, for the light kit. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty easy. P pretty easy to set up this light kit. I wish I made a video on that, actually. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll make a setup video for the light kit on another vehicle in the future. We'll see about that. But, um, yeah, it's, it was really easy to connect. I mean, it just had these wires coming out of it. Um, uh, two on that. Or I forget how he did it. I think, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a couple on. Yeah, yeah, it was two that came out of here. Um, two that came out of here. You plug it into... One of these goes to the front, and one of these goes to the rear, all the way to the rear. And then the one over here goes to the um, the, bat the battery connector right here. As you can see, this connector does probably look a bit long to you guys. That's because you put on this little extra piece. You can see it's got these extra mini wires, or small wires, not like mini wires, but small wires right there. You get your fan over the ESC. This comes with the car, the fan. Um, yeah, I did put some aluminum parts on, some aluminum hubs up front, or caster blocks, and some aluminum hubs in the rear, and some aluminum and rubber um, wheelie bar wheels. Those are really good, way better than the plastic ones. The plastic ones honestly don't even move that much. They're really just um, molded plastic circles that really don't do much. Um, these wheels, in my opinion, look awesome. They look really good. I, I do really like how they, they go on. Get your receiver in there, receiver box. Um, yeah, overall, I mean, this truck on the inside is pretty simple. Traxxas four-wheel drive brushless vehicle. It's pretty much just like the um, Rustler. Actually, it's not, not just like the Rustler. The servo um, on the Rustler is actually buried. Something I like a better about this truck um, is that the servo is right here. And then if I flip it over right now, can see this servo is way easier to work on 
because you don't need to remove the whole front end like you do on the Russell. You can just work on it right here. I know that uh, it's more durable if it's buried in the front end. This piece right here isn't gonna break um, as much, but still it's way easier to work on than it is if it's being buried in the front because then every time you work on it, you got, got to take off the front end, which is quite a few screws, but hey, it's not a huge deal, but yeah. So let's get to, let's get, uh, so here, I'll show you guys the light kit. I'll boot up the light kit and I'll show it to you All right, guys. guys so here's the light kit for the Trexus Haas. Honestly, I think it looks really awesome, especially with the big old sledgehammer wheels, as well as the orange and purple body. I did have the, um, the green and blue body on this, but uh, this is my brother's truck and he kind of, um, destroyed the green and blue body. So we got him this one. Um, yeah, uh, round back, you got your, uh, you got two lights because if it was just one light bar, as you can see, they kind of did this kind of good, just kind of save money as well. If this was one whole light bar across the whole thing from the back, you wouldn't really, you would, you wouldn't see the parts that, uh, that they don't have the light on, on this. You wouldn't see most of it. But, um, yeah, again, these are, these are not brake lights or turn signals or anything like that. These are just always on red and, um, as well as the front is always on white. You can change the brightness and stuff like that, um. But yeah, I think this I think this light kit looks pretty awesome. But yeah, with all that information being let out, let's take it outside, take it for a little drive around. It just snowed quite a bit um where I live, so it'll be it'll be a pretty fun drive this thing around the snow. This thing does do very well in snow when the snow is not too deep. Yeah, it snowed a few days ago and um and now it's kinda not melted. Well, some of it's melted, um, but it's it's got it's got a good consistency right now. So let's take it outside and uh and give it a drive around by the way i just wanted to let you guys know to head over to our instagram at uh east coast underscore rc's um as well as we also have a tiktok account which is east coast underscore rc's rcs um so check the check those things out on our instagram we mainly post like polls on our story um with rc car versus rc car um so yeah that 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 that's 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 funny you guys can vote in the within the little boxes um on which rc car uh you think or you think is better which one you like better we have a lot of polls going around we have we do we do a lot of them and then we just post you know um you know pictures of upcoming videos you guys can uh you guys can see what we're gonna post before we post it on our um on our youtube channel you guys can check out yeah check it out on our instagram before we post it on youtube as well as our TikTok, sometimes we post stuff like that on our TikTok, um, but we post more on Instagram. But yeah, follow us on our Instagram and TikTok. I'll link it in the in the description down below. By the way, guys, before I start driving the car, um, I'll probably in the in a future video, maybe we'll do a proper bashing session video of the Haas, um, at like a place where we can do full speed run, like um like a top speed a top speed run kind of thing, and uh, a place where we can do big jumps instead of just kind of doing wheelies on pavement which is what you're going to see in the next clip or in the next few clips um or next long clip whatever happens but um yeah in the future like i just said we'll probably do a uh a big bashing session video with the hoss so you guys all right guys so we have the hoss outside as you can see it's pretty snowy out so we're going to try to rip it through the snow but as you can see this thing is a very good speed on 3S, can rip some wheelies with it. It doesn't tend to flip over that much, which I do like about it. It makes it easier to to um, <clears throat> to control. So that that is good. Yeah, let's take it out in the right, snow. So I did bit. just try going through the snow, as you can see right there. It is a bit. The snow is a bit soft. It's been getting a little bit warmer. So we'll see how this goes. But let's let's take let's take for let's go. Ah, uh, yeah, got stuck already. Yeah, it's, it's the snow is definitely a bit, <clears throat> a bit soft, and I'm wearing Vans out here, which I, I should just put boots on. Some of my feet are freezing, but um, oh god, but um, yeah, this thing here, the snow is definitely a bit too soft to drive, to drive in today, but you can still drive around on pavement, which should be good. Pretty smooth steering, which I do like about it. I 
these aluminum wheelie wheelie wheels help a ton when driving these things because um the plastic ones when you're doing a wheelie they just skid along and just scrape they really don't turn that much and they also make an annoying noise that sounds like you're hitting something so these wheels these really bar wheels are definitely a lot better than the these aluminum ones are definitely better than the plastic ones and this thing can rip some fat wheelies. Yeah, let's take it out to the let's take it out to the road. We'll do a little bit of a speed test. Here, turn around here. Wheelie test. Jeez, this thing does some crit eight wheelies. I adjust the handling um a little bit. The handling is a bit oh, off right now. And now that I flipped over, let's test the self-writing feature. All you gotta do is push down the uh, set button on the remote for a few seconds until it starts going. Let's do that. There it goes. Oh, 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 all right, all right, all right. Doesn't work too well. It's, it's definitely a little bit, a little bit uh, quirky. I'll just use my actual hands and do that. Yeah, I'll have to adjust the uh, steering a little bit in the, in the app. There, by the way, um, since this thing does have a, uh, a TQI transmitter, you can put the, uh, the, uh, um, the Bluetooth module thing into it and then connect it to your phone, which I have done here with this truck. And you can use to adjust the throttle, steering, um, and a bunch of other stuff. And the lights, too. You can adjust the lights as well, which is kind of cool. Let's do a... Oh, I hit... Got a big old rock right in my hand. But I'm actually going to start to keep in the driveway a little bit just because the, uh, the road... I just realized the road is rather salty. Yeah, this truck is definitely very good, especially for um, beginner RC drivers. This is a very good truck. Um, it's priced at about $470 on Traxxas.com. Um, again, you know, different pr different websites have different prices. You can probably find it cheaper somewhere else. Or you can obviously just get a used one if you need it to be um, a little bit more cheaper. Um, but, yeah, this truck is definitely really great for beginners. And, um, and uh, yeah, just people who want to get into RC. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit more on the expensive side, but that's for a good reason. I mean, it's got these sledgehammer tires. It's It's got the big old motor in it, the big uh, Traxxas Max motor. Well, I don't think it's exclusive to the Traxxas Max. It probably has. It's probably in a few other vehicles. But, um, yeah, this thing is definitely a great, great truck. I believe on um, Traxxas.com it's listed at about, um, it's listed that it can go uh, about 65 miles an hour, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to check that uh, again, but um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's listed to go about 65, which is great speed for these these trucks. That's kind of the the normal speed for a uh, a four wheel drive brushless Traxxas model. But yeah, this thing is definitely really fun to really fun to drive. It's fun to rip around. Um, I do enjoy driving it a lot. It's got do some cool things with it. But yeah. Yeah, it's too bad we can't go in the snow today in this video just because uh, the snow is a bit too uh, a bit too uh, wet and a bit too thin to be able to drive in it. But I don't know, maybe some other time in a future video um, we'll be doing that. Whoa. -ho. Whew. This thing does rip through the snow well here. We can go through the snow here and try to kick up a little bit of snow. Yeah, this thing does drive well. I'm I am a big fan of the Traxxas house. Whew. Yeah, I, I love the fact that it doesn't flip over that much. That's 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 a big thing for me. I do like that it doesn't flip over that much. It's really, I mean, you can floor it and just turn, and it might flip over, but it's. 
I mean, look at that. I mean, I'm... Yeah, look at that. I mean, it just slides. I mean, the, the, the road is, or in the uh, driveway, or ground, rather, is pretty wet right now, but still, it tends to just slide instead of, uh, instead of, uh, flip, which I like. That's a, that's a thing that, that's one thing that I don't love about the, uh, Max, the Traxxas Max, for example. It flips over a ton, like, it's really easy to flip it over, like, unless you have the wide Max kit, which, in my opinion, looks a little bit strange on the car, um, it, uh, it, it, it does flip over quite a bit. Oh, here, we'll try the uh, self-running feature one more time. Right now, it does, it really only works on, like, flat ground. I mean, if I'm, like, out there in the snow, it's not really going to do anything. So, here, we can test it right now. Come on. Yeah, it's not really working very well. We'll just, just use our feet for this one. <clears throat> but, yeah. All right, so let's go back inside and uh, sum up what this what this truck is capable of and sum, sum up kind of what, it, what it's best at and what it does and stuff. Actually, guys, before we go inside, let's see if we can do a little jump here. <laughs> kind of worked. Got kind of... Uh, stuck and uh, hung up at the end. By the way, sorry about the uh, the car noise. There's a few cars driving by, driving by right now. But yeah, it got kind of hung up over here. I wasn't going really fast enough. I'm gonna have to. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, take two of the the jump. Just turn around up here. Sorry about the shaky camera. By the way, I'm walking. I don't have a gimbal. <laughs> Maybe I'll get one though. Who knows? For filming. Sorry, that was a bad footage. I gotta stand closer. But yeah, all right, now let's go inside and sum up this truck. All right, guys, so the car is upside down right now because I just have it drying off just so that I, on this little uh, container lid here just so the carpet doesn't get all wet. But yeah, at the end of the day, this car is a really, or this truck rather, is a really great RC car for, for really anybody. I mean, obviously for like maybe really younger kids, it's a little bit fast, but, um, but in real, but I mean, the price point is pretty good, I'd say. It's a, it's a, it's honestly, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good price for, for, for what this truck is. It's a little bit expensive, but in my opinion, it's, it's, it's pretty good, pretty, pretty good. But um, yeah. All right. So that's it for this video today. If you liked it, smash that like button and that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.